Hi guys, uh, Nick from Hi-Fi Collective here. Today, we're going to be building this um, preamp kit. Preamp kit with phono stage. It uses it for moving, moving coil, moving magnet, so it's switchable. Um, it uses an op amp for the, for the phono stage, so it'll be nice and quiet, but it uses an ECC82 for your line level. Line level is times one or times three gain, so you can switchable. If you've got a kind of high sensitivity amp, you can put it to times one, and that's that's done. You've got three line inputs, one phono stage input, um, and one out, one output. So, shall we open the box? Yes, indeedy. Stanley knife. Ooh, ooh. Let's put the box to the side. We've opened the box, it's very sturdy, so uh, that's how it will be sent to you. In the box, we have chassis, we have the PCB, high quality PCB, very clean ident, clean. And then obviously you've got your stickers for the back, Japanese IEC, you can just put a UK plug on that. Valves, ECC82, this kit is used, you can use it where, wherever you are in the world. It'll take all voltages, it's just the way you wire it up. Um, stuff like that. Some bobs. Some hardware bits and some components. Put the valves to the side because we don't need those at the moment. Probably not the hardware bits. Usually any kit when you build them, they want you to get them with the board pretty much straight away. Nice transformer there, R core, that's good. Let's open up the chassis. Steel. There's your chassis here. Blank, no screen print on it. That's hence why you'll have all the stickers here that will go on the back and, and the front there. Right, turning to the instructions. It provides a list of all the parts you kind of you need for the build, soldering iron, solder, cutters, scissors, hexagonal, wrench, screwdrivers, and a multimeter. Take stuff that you'd have in your toolbox, I'm sure. So we're gonna go through the parts list. So we've gone through the checklist, everything seems to be here, which is standard for, for any kit. Um, and then we're going to start on the actual construction. <clears throat> Before soldering, follow the cut lines. So you have to break the PCB into eight pieces. You can see the board has these slight perforations there, there, there. So that's where it will break. So it says do it over the edge like that. And then just gently Ooh, like that. There's another one there. Ooh, another one there. Oh, yes. There's one in the middle. There. So, first typo. I mean, it's very rare. It says the PC breaks into eight pieces. There's actually only five pieces, as far as we can see. Um, so we're now straight onto the assembly. It's going for the resistors first. 
first one is 2R2. Color coding it here. Which is red, red, gold, gold, which it states there. So very tiny, tiny resistors here. Um, and they are 59, 60, and 66. Right. So I like to bend them like that so that they kind of fit in the space provided. Um, 69. There's no directionality to these resistors, um, but I like to keep them flowing the same way, really. I say that as I put them in the other way around. So now I'm going to put the uh, resistors in and I'll be back with you in a short while. We've populated the board now of all the resistors. You can see them all here. You can see all the resistors are flush to the board. There's no need to have them on all legs. It's not a great idea. And then you've got a bit of a rabbit's, um, a spider's web there. We'll get this soldered now, but I'm quite happy with those. Just go through carefully when you're doing it. You'll see that I've ticked off all the ones I've done. You don't want to get them wrong. Um, and what you'll also find is that you can see here we've got six resistors left. That's because they go on the other boards. Um, but it's just dealing with it's just dealing with unit one. This is unit one. So we're going to solder this now. Um, we'll get back to you in a minute. Oh, by the way, I'm using. They don't provide solder, but I'm using the good old trusted Mundwolf 3.8% silver gold solder. I'm going to get the fan on before I don't chalk. So I've soldered in all the um, resistors in now. Really lovely board to solder onto. You can see nice shiny joints everywhere. The cloud in is just a bit of the heat near the solder resist. But not bad if I say so myself. So we're going to go over to the next bit, which is number two Zener diode. Zener diodes have a mark on them to show which is the anode and cathode. Um, the black line is the cathode end. So the zenodiodes are these chaps, which are these. So these are zenodiodes. The black bits, the cathode end. There's three of them in fact, so I'm missing one. There's the other one. Zenodiode, there's one. So just do a double check you've got them in the right place. Yeah, black mark near the Cathode end, black mark, cathode end. Yep, it's all good. Number three is bridge diode. So six of them. These are also marked with a sine wave and a positive and negative. You can see them. Yeah, you can just about see them. Sorry. Gonna bend the leads over so they don't fall out. That's pretty easy. They fold quite easily those. That's D6. You do not want to get these the wrong way around. D5.
So you can see it clearly marked what, pola what the polarity is, as in plus, mi minus, plus, and the two sine waves, which signifies the AC input. And there's a jack. This doesn't have any lead outs, so I'm going to solder it straight on. So it's held in place by two uh, grubs, well, projections. Oh, Solders pretty easily. Heat up the pad and the solder tag. Don't get too close to the body of the plastic because it will melt it. I'm just going to solder up the other bits. When it comes to anything I see, like semiconductors, I don't like to solder the, all of them at the same time. I just find that too much heat can be a bit of an issue. So I'm just gonna go around, randomly let them cool down a bit. So same as in the diodes. So I'll heat, do one leg there, and then move on to another leg of another component there, another one there, and then I'll go around Similar style to the bridge rectifiers. So there, one leg there, one leg there, one leg there, one leg there. So that's the Zeno diodes fitted. That's the bridge rectifiers fitted, and also the jack fitted. Cool. That's it for this video. To see more, uh, follow the links below.